Key speed. There hasn't ever really been a show that was made or expressed the, the point of view uh, of the gay community in San Francisco. And I think a lot of people were super excited to finally get to see that on TV. Looking actually created jobs. Camera department, lighting, grip, production, locations, construction. You know, that was my first time actually being on an actual set with lights and cameras and whole crew, that was amazing. It also benefits many businesses on the periphery that aren't necessarily in the film industry. Porta potty companies, construction companies, florists, cab drivers, dry cleaners, and I think that is often overlooked, but is a huge part of how we all benefit in San Francisco. If they see a restaurant on looking, then they're gonna go to that restaurant. We've been in the neighborhood for about 42 years in business. Everybody was you know, excited because they were filming throughout the whole neighborhood. I think a lot of people don't really understand how films benefit their neighborhoods or benefit them in general. I think San Francisco is a place that definitely advocates for locals to be a part of the experience of films being in San Francisco. What we do is we reignite dreams that are lost because young people lost their housing and getting them off the streets and then back into dreaming about a future and helping them reach that future is the most amazing thing I've ever experienced. And they were looking for um, an agency that worked with young people that would fit into the, where their script was going. And they did some shooting around Larkin Street. They invited some of our young people to be uh, walk-ons. Um, they donated $5,000 to Larkin Street. Having something on my resume like looking was a big asset to me in terms of proving to other people that I was a reliable and capable employee to have on your set. We were hoping that they were going a uh, third season and maybe, you know, want to use this again, but, you know, but, uh, I guess it wasn't meant to be. Freelancers, it's a hard life. And if, they're, if there's no production in San Francisco, they have houses and they have families and without a job, we lose more and more crew members and businesses like ours. I felt like I was famous, <laughs> you know, just, you know, when everything was, was done and actually seeing the show play out on TV and seeing your name on the end credits, it felt like I, I made it, you know, and, and it felt really good. That's great. It's cut.